atypical vertebrae. The two superior most cervical vertebrae and seven cervical vertebrae are atypical vertebrae. Atlas. Vertebra C1, also called the atlas, is unique in that it has neither a body nor a spinous process. This ring-shaped bone has paired lateral masses that serve the place of a body by bearing the weight of the globe-like cranium. Each lateral mass shows the following important features. Superior articular facet. The superior articular facet is present on its upper surface and is directed upwards and medially. The kidney-shaped concave superior articular surfaces of the lateral masses articulate with two large cranial protuberances, the occipital condyles at the sides of the foramen magnum and form the atlanto-occipital joint. Inferior articular facet The inferior articular facet is present on its lower surface and is directed downwards, medially and backwards. It articulates with a corresponding facet on the axis vertebra to form an atlantoaxial joint. Transverse process. The transverse processes of the atlas project laterally from the lateral masses, causing them to be more laterally placed than those of the inferior vertebrae. This feature makes the atlas the widest of the cervical vertebrae, thus providing increased leverage for attached muscles. It is pierced by foramen transversarium. Anterior and posterior arches, each of which bears a tubercle in the center of its external aspect, extend between the lateral masses forming a complete ring. On the posterior surface of the anterior arch, there is an oval facet which articulates with the dents. The posterior arch, which corresponds to the lamina of a typical vertebra, forms about two-fifths of the ring and has a wide groove for the vertebral artery on its superior surface and the C1 nerve also runs in this groove. Attachments and Relations Anterior tubercle It provides attachment to the anterior longitudinal ligament. Provides insertion on each side to upper oblique part of longus coli. Anterior arch. The upper border gives attachment to the anterior atlanto-occipital membrane. The lower border gives attachment to the lateral fibers of the anterior longitudinal ligament. Posterior tubercle. It provides attachment to the ligamentum nuque in median plane. It gives origin to rectus capitis posterior minor on each side. Posterior arch. Groove on upper surface is occupied by the vertebral artery and by first cervical nerve. Behind the groove, the upper border gives attachment to the posterior atlanto-occipital membrane. The lower surface gives attachment to highest pair of ligament flava. Transverse process. Its upper surface anteriorly gives origin to rectus capitis lateralis. Upper surface posteriorly gives origin to superior oblique muscle. Lower surface of tip gives origin to inferior oblique muscle. Lateral margin and lower border gives origin to levator scapulae. Posterior tubercle of transverse process gives origin to splenius cervices and scalene medius. Tubercle on medial side of the lateral mass gives attachment to transverse ligament of the atlas. Anterior surface of lateral mass gives origin to rectus capitis anterior.